everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel and happy Wax Wednesday where we are going to continue on with this fun series that we've got going on from bars to jars where we are highlighting a candle pretty much every week. I say pretty much because last week I had some things come up so we didn't have our usual Wax Wednesday last week but we are going to pick right back up the last Wednesday of April. Mind blown totally crazy right this week was um it was a different <laughs> it was a different little mixture and i think it's gonna be really fun for you guys especially maybe uh if you are a fruity lover for sure and um if you are maybe in a different region and have a particular scent that is actually not available in the canada us or mexico region so You'll have to watch and find out. So the candle that we are going to highlight, I will give you one guess. <laughs> it's a Homeworks. Yes, it is. Part of that same hobnail duo. This one was the other candle that came with the, oh gosh, I should, it's Sweet Spring Melon, I believe. Let me see here. I pulled up because I just wanted to make sure it was still available. This duo is still currently available uh, on QVC exclusively. It's $24.98 plus shipping and handling. Uh, this one came with uh, Sweet Spring Melon. So uh, the Sweet Spring Melon I already did on a different Wax Wednesday. Here's the thing for this particular candle. The Sweet Spring Melon actually did decent for me as far as the candle performance goes. This one, I basically can't smell it. Um, on cold, it's it's nice. Uh, the wicks are doing some funky things here. So this is technically a four wick, but um, it turned into a three wick. <laughs> so there's only like three functional wicks and they're pretty small. I don't trim these wicks. These are crazy small. With Homeworks, you don't trim the wicks. Uh, they, they're just fine on their own. But like even smelling it now, I don't smell anything. Before I started burning it, it was it was really nice. I liked it and I picked up or I, I picked out some really great scentsy scents to melt along with this. So if you do have this and you have a better performing, I didn't even tell you what this one is. <laughs> I just told you what the, the other one in the duo was. So the other one, as I mentioned, was Sweet Spring Melon. This one is Pomegranate Lychee. So let's see here get your thoughts together here, Lisa really really pretty packaging i love these jars these hobnail jars the colored glass is absolutely beautiful um and like i said on cold before i started burning it it was really pretty and now i am beyond the halfway point uh and i i don't smell anything when even when i was burning it i really didn't smell much so i was like well in case anyone <laughs> It just smells like wax to me at this point. So, but honestly, I never really had any throw from this, which is kind of crazy. So, but on cold, it smelled really good. And so I still decided to go ahead and do this mixture just in case. I know, crazy, right? Look at all this. <laughs> um, just in case there's anyone out there that did get this duo and has a better performing candle for this one. So we're still gonna go with this mix. And I actually really liked these mixes. So uh, this, per the notes on this one were uh, pomegranate, mango, cassis, and dried apricot. So a nice, pretty summer, spring, fruity blend. Really, really nice. Like I said, on, on cold at the very beginning, it was really nice. Now it's just, it's just waxy. <laughs> so there's that. So let me share with you some of my thoughts. So of course, my base mixer for this particular concoction had to be perfectly pomegranate. So this one I was really excited to start doing some mixing with because this one for me has always been too sweet. And it's it's not necessarily a, it, I shouldn't say that. It's not necessarily a too sweet as much as it is artificial sweet. Now this is crazy sweet, but you know your girl here loves a good sweet scent. But it's a little bit of like an artificial it's kind of along the same lines as like an artificial strawberry now this is pomegranate but it's like an artificial berry scent so I know a lot of people really really like this but for me I thought this was gonna be a perfect one to do some mixing with because it's gonna make me appreciate it more so this was the base for all of my mixtures let me tell you what since he says about this because I told you what my sniffer thinks. <laughs> so perfectly pomegranate, dark and juicy pomegranate with a sweet berry finish. This is a classic. And this is one that has been around for a really long time. And I know a lot of people really, really like this one. So, um, you know, 
if you if you really like super super sweet candied berries kind of scents then you may really really like this on its own and you may not need to mix it but i can tell you this one performed on its own way better than the candle did so just for the one that i got but what i wanted to do was let me let me do the ones that are currently available in my region so well actually i lie uh, one of these is not available any longer because it was a limited time offer. But so I decided to mix perfectly pomegranate one cube. This, this is the most mixing I've done in one warmer. Now with this series, what I'm doing, cause you'll know what I like to do a lot of times downstairs is I will make like do some mixing by like mixing different scents and alternating warmers. So I'll have one scent in one warmer, a different scent in another warmer, and they'll just kind of, they'll melt and marry in the atmosphere. But with this particular series, what I'm doing is I'll mix one cube to one cube of each scent to really get that mixture in the warmer itself and really see how it is going to marry in the warmer if that makes sense so i did one cube of perfectly pomegranate one cube of do we or don't we i am loving mixing this one i feel like this one on its own just doesn't do very much but when it mixes it really does come out a lot better in my opinion this is just a really nice sweet juicy cantaloupe or melon scent it's so it's really really nice and so i felt like this because it smells much more authentic will kind of help out the perfectly pomegranate on its own but i felt like what this what i got from this one when i could smell something there was a little bit of there was almost like a, a brightness of like almost like a it's not lemon but it's that type of like lemon or grapefruit or citrus kind of like brightness so what I, what I wanted to do was mix it. So I did one cube, perfectly pomegranate, one cube, do we or don't we, and one cube of we're all mad here. Now the Disney inspired fragrance of we're all mad here is no longer available. This one was a limited time only fragrance. It is in my Scentsy club. So I figured, you know what? I am still going to do the mix because there's a lot of people who did add this one to their club because it's amazing. Um, and this mixture was so good, you guys. So if you do have this one, maybe pick up these two. It's so good because this one smells like a berry lemonade. So this one gives it, gives this concoction the brightness that I felt like it needed to kind of brighten it up and lighten it up to balance out the sweetness in these two. So this was <laughs> my mixture for that. Let me tell you what the notes are. Well, I already told you, right? No, I told you what the notes were for perfectly pomegranate. Do we or don't we is we definitely do. Just crushed basil over ripe cantaloupe is a gift from the garden gods. And that's, it just, that's what it smells like. It's just sweet. There's, I, I've, I feel like I say this. I Have I done this in like every single wax Wednesday? <laughs> I think I have. I've I've had a really good time mixing this scent. Um, the there is no like I don't smell the actual basil in this. I feel like the basil maybe gives it the freshness, but like I don't smell this and think mm, herbs. No, it's just sweet cantaloupe. It's it's really good. So let me. I did pull up the notes though for we're all mad here just in case you didn't get it and maybe you are able to get your hands on this one. Um, the description on this one is let's get lost in wonderland alongside vivid notes of tart plum strawberry and pink sugar all sparkling with a bright burst of fizz i still get lemon from this it's like a lemon it's a strawberry lemonade or a berry lemonade of sorts it's really nice and i love it and i feel like this these three combined just gave it like this was a perfect little mixture so would this be one that like would this mix really make me go crazy enough to buy more perfectly pomegranate? I don't think so. I'm just being honest. I don't, I don't know. This is really, really super sweet for me. Cause I know when I had told you guys, uh, was that the last wax Wednesday, the apple butter frosting and churro churro that blew my mind. <sighs> did you guys, okay. For those of you who, <laughs> who saw that one, did you pick up the candle hot cider donut and did you pick up those bars that i recommended of apple butter frosting and churro churro let me let me know your thoughts in the comment if you did that mix and your thoughts because oh my goodness i liked churro churro it just wasn't strong enough i've always loved apple butter frosting but like that mix made me go absolutely bonkers like completely bonkers 
This mix I really like, but it's not gonna make me run out and buy a ton more of Perfectly Pomegranate. These two, we're all mad here, is in my club. It's not going anywhere. Do we or don't we? I'm still intrigued by if it gets retired in the fall and winter season, which it probably will. Is it going to be added into my club? Maybe not, but I am having a lot of fun mixing it. So there's that. Now let's talk about the last, the last little mix. So this one I've actually been saving and you can see I only used one cube because I can't actually get this one. This was actually a gift to me. Um, like I said, it's from a different region, so it's not even in the US and check this out. And for those of you who are in other regions, like Australia, New Zealand, UK, all y'all, um, bars in other regions actually get sealed. <laughs> so do you see this? How cool is that? I know that's so silly because it's like, I'm sure for those of you that this is like a normal thing, you're like, really? <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. I like to see different things. So this one is actually lychee sorbet. So obviously, for very obvious reasons, I had to do this mix since the candle itself is called pomegranate lychee. So I decided to do this particular mix and I don't know if this is available. I have no idea. I probably could have spent some more time doing some research, but for those of you, for my friends out there who are in other regions and have had this particular scent, let me know in the comments if this is still available, if you have smelled this, if you like this. This to me just smells like like a berry lemonade, but it's like, it's an authentic. It's really, ew, it smells so good. I really, really like it. So as you can see, I really like it and only <laughs> wanted to use one cube because I'm like, I just feel like this is so special. I feel like I don't really want to mix it, but I also want to enjoy it too. So what I did was I mixed these two. So perfectly pomegranate and the lychee sorbet. And these two were really, really nice together as well. The lychee sorbet great performer this uh perfectly pomegranate great performer as well these two together absolutely great and i do feel like that's the thing the perfectly pomegranate needs the acidity to kind of lighten and brighten it up and that's what the lychee sorbet did it kind of it cooled it down it uh brightened it up with that little like acid note and it's just it's beautiful so that's what i tried to like recreate with this was the we're all mad here that's like the closest similarity so there you have it. Ooh, I think I found, I did find a description though. For the lychee sorbet, the description here is, now this one has not, to my knowledge, ever been available in the US. Um, icy citrus zest and tart red berry juice blended with delicate sweet white lychee. So there's that. So I got my little description there. So, but yeah, that was, that was a great mix. And I would say this was probably the closest mix when this candle was smelling before I was burning it. But as far as US scents, these three. <laughs> so this one, like I said, this one was, it was a fun, it was a fun mix. Was it my favorite mix? No, definitely in this series so far, my favorite mix has definitely been the apple butter frosting and churro churro mixture. <gasps> that mix is life. If you didn't check that out, go stop everything <laughs> go check out that mix it's amazing so um yeah so there we, there we have it i don't want to like lose things here um amazing and with the um uh, homeworks oh geez with the homeworks duos it is still currently available at, like i said it's like 24.98 um plus shipping and handling and these hobnail candles do come with these really pretty lids. Definitely reuse these jars when you're done because they're really pretty. And one thing I had mentioned before was that you can actually reuse these lids to like use as a stand for your warmers maybe because it kind of just gives it a really pretty extra ele element and kind of elevates it just a little bit. So don't throw those away. They're fabulous. So there you have it. That is what we have for this Wax Wednesday. Let me know if you're liking this series. I've gotten um, I've gotten some really great comments. So thank you guys so much for your love and support. This has been so much fun to do and definitely fun to be able to open our eyes to maybe some new scents. So it's been a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.